Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Melissa and today's video is going to be a haul it on style video. I haven't done that in a really long time and so many of you really like it and I have a little visitor here so come on up. He wants to lick off my makeup. I was so intrigued by the Cover Effects foundation drops and I really wanted to try them but I wanted to try them while there was the 15% off sale. So I picked those up and while I was there, because I really wanted to get color matched, I picked up a few other kind of impulse items, the Marc Jacobs Lolita palette and another of my favorite Too Faced La Creme lipsticks in the color Nude Beach. And oh, I also picked up this little Besame loose powder. So we're going to try them on together and I'll give you my kind of first impressions as I'm using them. So I'm going to start off with foundation and I'm going to use the Cover Effects uh, Custom Color Drops. My shade I was matched to an N20 and I've only used this once uh, so far this week. I wanted to give it a whirl and I mixed it with my absolute favorite kind of like day cream. I thought today I would mix it with a primer and I had picked up this one from Makeup Forever. It's the smoothing primer. I have not used it yet so I'm gonna try mixing these two together. Because this is kind of liquidy I think it might be a little bit easier to manage in a dish as opposed to the back of my hand. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of the primer in here. I've given this a really good shake and I'm going to do, I want to do four drops. So I'm just going to mix this together and apply it with my fingers. All right, I do not like it mixed with this primer at all. So I feel like it has, because the primer is supposed to uh, fill your pores, I feel like it has filled my pores with color. And that's not cute. I feel like it really went on much different than it did the other day when I applied it with this as the mixer. So I'm going to go ahead and scrap this, even though this means wasting this amount of product, which kind of bums me out, and uh, remix a little bit and reapply. I do like the way this went on. It's just not a good, not a good mixer for that. I've gone ahead and put a little dollop of the Paula's Choice moisturizer in there, and I'm going to add four drops of the color effects. So I don't know if you can see, the same thing happened. I feel like all the pores on my nose, it has settled into the pores on my nose. So I don't know if that's because I used four drops this time. I did not notice this the other day when I used it at all. I didn't, I only used two or three drops and I didn't have a problem. Four drops seems to have put me over the edge and as settling into my pores. I'm going to go ahead and just carry on and continue and we'll see how we do. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not wildly impressed with that. Plus I find this kind of messy. But sometimes we have to keep an open mind until we figure out how it all works. And this is a really different kind of product, so that could be part of it. Let's move on. Hopefully something, hopefully the rest of these things will go a little bit better. And I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer to my eyelids before I put on my eyeshadow. And I'm going to use the uh, Naked Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm using light neutral. This is a pretty awesome concealer. 
I'm not going to do under my eyes yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to use this mostly like a eyelid primer. I want to kind of neutralize. I don't know whether it's allergies or what. I feel like my eyelids are really discolored lately. So, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. So let's move on to some eyeshadow. And so I caved on this one and I picked up a Marc Jacobs palette. This is the Lolita palette and it's their, the neutral one. I haven't taken it out of the box yet because I knew the minute I did I would get it all full of uh, crazy kind of <laughs> fingerprints. But the packaging, the packaging of this line in general is not to be believed. I think it's just so gorgeous. This is nothing, this is not new, this has been around for, uh, it was part of the initial launch. It is uh, very much a neutral eye palette. I'm going to start off with just going under the brow with the lightest color and then uh, into the crease with this, kind of lay down this in the crease area, so brow and crease. So then I think I'm going to go into this second to last uh, shimmery shade here at the end. And I'm going to put that on my lid. Then I'm going to take a little pencil brush and I'm going to go into, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to go into the darkest color here. And kind of build this up into the crease area a little bit, just to darken the crease up a little bit. It's pretty. I'm not blown away with a shadow formula though. I'm not blown away with it. Alright, I'm going to do a little under eye concealing. Uh, I'm going to put a little moisturizer under there first. I was going to try and use this as a little bit of a concealer, but I don't think I'm going to today. Maybe I should. Should I? I guess I should. I'm going to go ahead and let this soak in a little bit. Try a little dab of my under eye cream and a little bit of the drops. Because we need to really test these drops and make sure that they're like everything they're cracked up to be. So I have a little bit left in here. I'm going to go ahead and just put one drop of the color in and I have some moisturizer under eye cream on my finger and I'm going to go for it that way. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my damp beauty blender. Just kind of blend that in. So I think that worked okay. It's not life-changing, but it worked okay. Alright, I'm going to finish up my eyes. I think I'm going to grab um, a little angled brush and use the darkest shade along my lashes a little bit. And then I'm going to take uh, this little uh, flat shader brush that's kind of stiff and I'm going to go into I think this end color here just tap it onto the end of my brush and use that under my eyes and then I'm going to go black back in with the really dark shade and just us to the outer corner kind of tie it all together. Now, this center shade has a lot, I want to play with this a little bit, this center shade has, it's got a lot of like glitter to it. So I thought I might just play around a little bit with that. 
I'm just going to take the flat shader brush and just spritz it with a little bit of finishing spray. It's pretty, but holy cow, it has just fallen everywhere, even with it being a little wet. Oh my gosh, I am a glittery mess now. First lesson learned. If you're going to use that glitter shade, do it before you put your face on, because there was there's a crazy amount of glitter on my face. So for my cheeks today, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, NARS Dual Intensity Blush in the color Panic. And it's this one that has the two, two like blush shades. A lot of them have like a blush and a highlighter shade, or like a contour and a highlighter shade. These, This is the one that has the two blush shades. And I really like mixing them. That's my preferred way of wearing them. So I usually just go like this, just back and forth between the two. And so for my mascara today, I'm going to use the new Roller Lash from Benefit. And I got a little sample of this in um, my Pop Sugar box. I've been using this all week. So I also picked up the uh, Besame Brightening Vanilla Face Powder that was the small size that you see, um, what is it called, the Evil Isle, or someone has a funny name for her, that little aisle in Sephora that, where they have all these quote unquote sample sizes. Let me open this. Oh. Oh, nice. So it has a little lid and a puff. This is going to be awesome for traveling, quite frankly. And for throwing in your handbag. So I did just has a little a slight vanilla fragrance to it. I can't really tell how it looks on my face because of this foundation. It's just making everything look kind of crappy. So I'm going to finish this up with uh, a new lipstick that I picked up. And this is from uh, Too Faced. It's one of their La Creme lipsticks, which I love, love, love this formula. And the shade I picked up was Nude Beach. So I started off by lining my lips with a Color Stay lip pencil in the color Nude. And that's there. And then I'm going to apply Nude Beach on top. So, <laughs> boy, this has been a really mixed bag with this haul it on. I'm just kind I'm a little shocked. I don't even know where to start. I'll start with the foundation. My first impression of this when I used this during the week was I really liked it. Today, not so much, and I'm not sure what the difference is. Uh, definitely, I don't like it with a primer. I mean, a primer, when I think about it now, and they say you can use it with a primer, but a primer is generally there to fill in your pores. So you're filling in your pores with a really pigmented color primer. And that just emphasizes your large pores if you have them. So that was a total fail. And even after taking that off and reapplying, I felt like it still settled into my pores. So my initial reaction is kind of meh. I don't know. I wouldn't run out to buy it. I love the color. I think the color is fabulous. So uh, if I can find a good way to mix it, then I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i keep it. Let's move on to Marc Jacobs, shall we? I was really excited to try this palette. I think I got a nice eye look out of it. I don't think it's anything really remarkable. I think the formula of the shadows are a little powdery. And definitely do your face last, if you, especially if you're going to use that middle shade, which is the glittery kind of topper shade, which is why, really why I bought this palette, because I wanted a little bit of glittery topper shade to play with. What else did I try today? Oh, I tried the uh, primer from Makeup Forever. Seems nice. 
and uh, I need to give this you know more time to see how it lasts throughout the day but uh, I'm gonna get this a try under some other foundations but so far I like that and I'm really loving the new lipstick that I picked up the La Creme uh, lipstick in Nude Beach love 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 that and the Besame powder whoops I think it's gonna be lovely uh, but I'm a little dry right now, so I, I didn't put a whole lot on, but I love the way it smells. The packaging is super convenient. What do I have on my face? Oh, the NARS blush. I've been loving this. I've been using this for about two weeks now. I think it's fabulous. I haven't tried it wet yet, because these are two really pretty bright colors, and I don't need to make them any more intense, in my opinion. Oh, and the last thing I guess I'll mention, because I didn't really talk about it very much, is the roller lash. And people all over the internet are like raving about this. And I'm going, I don't get it. I, I, seriously, I don't get it. I, I like my uh, L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara so much better. I'll use this. It's not terrible, but it's not as volumizing and as lengthening as my very favorite L'Oreal. So uh, I'm glad I had a chance to try it. I don't think this is... I'm sorry. Everybody loves it. Me not so much. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And I will see you real soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.